All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G, and I'm super excited to talk to you about these Marvel Legends, of course, from Black Widow movie and the rest of the Builder Figures set for Crimson Dynamo and some of the exclusives that are there for Target and Walmart, such as this one, for example. And so you're definitely not going to want to miss this. But and I just watched the Black Widow movie three times. I watched it the day it came out a week ago and then another time and then saw it in theater and twice on Disney+. Plus. But um, I'm really excited to talk about it, but I do realize it's only been a week and so not everyone has watched it. So you did ask for a video without spoilers. So we're gonna do this one, it has no spoilers because, well, filmed it before the movie came out. And now that we know more about Taskmaster, when I say more about, well, that was kind of a bit of a surprise. We now know who Yelena is and Melina and Red Guardian. We have a good idea. And then the Baxter and Black Widow. It's just so exciting. I love this movie. And yes, so we'll make this video in honor of those of you who have not seen the movie so we don't give any spoilers away. I'm sure you'll, you'll enjoy that. Now I know why that is here. And you're gonna wanna find out by watching the movie. The movie's incredible. But like I said, we'll go ahead and kick this off with these action figures. And the, we got the Build-A-Figure set first along with some of the exclusives and then we got this two pack afterwards and um, this Walmart exclusive, I think this was one of the last one. So we'll kind of do it in that order with the build a figure set first and then we'll add the other ones because we did film those separately. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and show you right here. Um, this is where you can jump to the parts of the video where if you wanna see specifically one and you can check it out. So guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, Please hit the subscribe button below to follow us. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can be notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. Give us a big thumbs up if you like Black Widow and Marvel Legends. And what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. What is up, Vincent GG? Vincent GG? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super Is this great? All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. I can't wait to get started with these incredible Black Widow Marvel Legends action figures. They are so amazing. And so let's just dive right on in. Let's see who exactly we're going to be reviewing today because we have the complete Crimson Dynamo build a figure set right here. And then we have two exclusive Black Widow action figures. And let's see exactly who's in this set. So, first, we have Taskmaster. We have Black Suit, Black Widow. We have Yelena Belova. We have Red Guardian. Winter Soldier. Marvel's Crossbones. Marvel Spy Master. We have this Black uh, White Suit, Black Widow, the Deadly Origin. And we have this Black Widow action figure, this deluxe one that has all these accessories. Looks absolutely incredible. So um, you're definitely not gonna wanna miss this. Let's dive right on in. Let's start with our Build-A-Figure set. What do you say to that? All right, so first we're gonna do this incredible Taskmaster. And let me tell you, this Taskmaster looks absolutely amazing. And you know what I was thinking? Just to show you how cool the other Taskmasters are from the previous sets, check this out. We wanna do a video soon of all three of the ones that we have. We might actually have more when you take into account the Toy Biz uh, era. We have these other Taskmasters, and they look absolutely great. But of course, let's focus on our movie one today. And uh, keep in mind, the movie has not come out yet when we're making this video, and we're actually not sure. It looks like they pushed it back to November 2020. It is still April 2020 when I'm making this video. So um, we'll just go off of what we know so far and the really incredible trailer. 
So look at this beautiful action figure. It looks absolutely great. It looks just like um, the trailers that we've seen. And look at that really tech looking mask right there. Doesn't that look absolutely incredible? Look at this beautiful artwork. It's kind of just appears to be, well, maybe it's not even a mirror image. It looks like the same image um, twice. And then this really cool uh, concept art back here. Again, we have a close up of who's in the set. And each one of these action figures contains one build a figure piece for Crimson Dynamo, except Taskmaster. You know, I just noticed this. Notice how this is not out of focus yet. This sort of looks that way. It's actually that way on um, on the print. It's just not really focused. But anyway, let's take a closer look and let's see what the write up says back here. And this write up says Taskmaster is armed with the ability to mimic an enemy's every move. And if you've seen the preview, he does like this Spider-Man type jump where he's got his arm back like this. He's got almost like a Captain America shield. He's got Black Panther claws. I mean, the list goes on and I'm anxious to see just what exactly he can do, what his powers are and who he's mimicking and how he was able to get like all the stuff. And so I don't know if he's got almost like a Stark Tech visor in there. I don't know, but let's get him open. Let's see just how incredible this guy is. And of course, this is he does not come with a build a figure piece. So he's technically optional if you want to build Crimson Dynamo, but trust me, he's not optional as far as having in your collection. Look how absolutely incredible it looks. Oh, I almost forgot Hawkeye with this uh, bow and arrow right here. So we'll take a look. So man, look at this right here. We can place that in there. Let's pop him on out. And let's definitely dive right on in. And let's see how incredible the detail is on this action figure. Looks like the hood is attached to the top of his head, but cannot be removed. So it's probably glued up there. Um, we don't have amazing head articulation, but we have pretty good head articulation considering this hood right here. But it is, um, even though it's kind of softer type plastic or vinyl, um, it does restrict the movement a little bit. Look at that awesome mask where it's almost like a skeleton almost look at that with that digital visor it's got this really cool um part that comes across right here and i'm like well is it supposed to have a cape or not right <laughs> um definitely looks like it's supposed to but i guess part of that cloak and then um i'm not sure what this gear does on his suit but we're gonna find out when the movie comes out right all right so let's see um he's got a really incredible ab crunch that goes pretty far forward and a decent amount back um, he turns right here at the waist so he turns nice and smooth everywhere um, his shoulders let's see they click really heavily and they actually go in pretty well um, it's restricted by when it hits about there if you'll see so it goes about that far in won't go any further looks like about a mirror image on both arms turns right here on this part of the bicep look at that and it's a nice chunky build let's see Ugh. we do have double joints at the elbow so we're able to come in more than a than a 45 degree angle so that's a plus and let me tell you this articulation is nice and strong Ooh, i don't know why we're able to go beyond um going straight there for the 180. um so let's see this fist it does bend in and out and only goes so far out because of that piece right there. It does spin. It looks absolutely great. It looks like we have basically a mirror image here. Look at that. So that's awesome. This uh, elbow is a little bit more difficult to maneuver than I thought it was going to be. So while everything else is great, ugh, this, um, the part on the forearm is a little more difficult. And you'll see he ends up bending further out. So you're going to have to, that's actually kind of odd. Look at that. You're going to need to support this a little more than I thought. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see the legs. It turns right here in the high part of the thigh. Let's see. We've got some pretty good leg movement right here. Looks like we got a joint right there that spins out. This is soft plastic. And this is actually kind of free floating. So, but it moves well. Let's see. We have really strong knee joints and it's good because it's not going to come loose but it does move slightly further than straight out look at that 
just like the elbow. Let's bend both legs to make sure we get good articulation there. Yep, absolutely. And then of course moves further out. So that's a little different. Gonna get some take uh, some getting used to. And right here, wow, the ankles actually move really well and pivot. So that's awesome. Okay, let's take a look at the detail on the suit, which is beautiful. Look at the paint job. I love how it's like metallic. Look at that. Look at the belt. The paint job on this action figure is superb. Look at the mold. Look at the pants. Look at the paint job here. Look at that orange and blue. Looks great. Look at the boots. The mold on this action figure is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that hood. So let's take a look at the accessories. Look at the shield. Looks absolutely great and does exactly what like our Captain America shields have done in the past. You can put it here on his wrist, like that. Or we can put it in his hand. Well, I guess in one of the other hands. <laughs> and then if he had a peg, we could actually put it right here, which he does not. So just throwing that out there. And with an open hand, we can actually put that in there. So let's see what we got in here. We have two sets of hands, in addition to the ones it comes with. And let's see what these look like. Let's take all of these really ama amazing accessories out. Let's see, we have to lift this tape right here. How are we gonna get this out? Which part comes out, the front or the back? Let's see. Oof, this is gonna be difficult to understand. Let's see, let's push it down in. I definitely don't wanna break this. There we go. We have these Black Panther type claws right here. Look at this. So this is one set of hands like that, and that looks really cool. And it shows him doing that like Wakanda Forever, like across his body in the, the preview. And it's like this really incredible like saber right here out. Look at that. Zoom in the detail. So that looks absolutely awesome. Blade and handle, okay. And then these hands, we have one with the finger, I guess, to pull back the the bow, and then the other hand to hold it. So let's see what that looks like. Let's let's get rid of these fists right here by just twisting and popping them off. There we go. Let's pop these right on in by pushing and twisting. And these are probably the hands that we're gonna want to keep on here. Let's put the other hands back. I'm gonna just pop that right in here. Put that away. And first, let's see what his sword and um, shield look like. Look at this. Oop. Look at that. Can't tell me that doesn't look absolutely incredible. Let's get him really good action posing. There we go. His knees bending a little funky. But there we are. We can turn him this way. Look at that. And there is a little bit of restriction with his shoulder. That's the only bad part. And his wrist is kind of pushed out. So, hmm, on both of them. So that's kind of interesting. Because it's pushed out, I can't, it doesn't pull in as close as I, I thought it would. I would like it, this sword to kind of come straight like this, but it's forced out. That's all right. Definitely looks cool. All right, so we can't turn his head more than that. We can pull the shield about there. I wonder if the shield is the size that it would be in the movie, but let's take a look at that. How great that looks. Hey, okay, awesome. Now let's switch this for 
It's bow and arrow. And this looks like it's just gonna go, wow, cool. I haven't even um, shown you what this looks like. The great detail here. I love how this is like a soft plastic right here. It's attached here and here. And then this we can just looks like we can just slide on in there. Look at that. So we can, I'm assuming, put this right in. How would we want this? Because that probably has to go up here. Right? So since it doesn't show us on the uh, action figure uh, box let's let's just put it like this anyway that way it comes across the top even though it's coming across a little awkward let's bring the arm over here and you know what I won't be able to really straighten it like I would like to and I don't want to pull it back too far either So, let me see. He's definitely not going to be able to have the pose that I thought he would. Because in order to pull this back, it would look a little too forced. And this finger isn't going to hold it. So, hmm, it's kind of a missed opportunity. I definitely can't pull that back without it looking forced and weird and plasticky and it doesn't get it's not gonna hold it anyway look because for me to push it in there it's gonna slide out anyway all right so it was a cool idea but um, since the whole thing starts to bend it doesn't work and since you need to have the arm outstretched um, and I can't bring it across the body either, that's the problem. So, hmm. It was a cool idea, and the execution just didn't work out. This is cool. So, nonetheless, these accessories still go well. I still love the way they look, they still look outstanding. And we can still, like, probably place them here. But um, it's not the same. And I could flip this over the other way, but still. Um, not the same. But still look absolutely outstanding. I'll put that away and then maybe um, have him getting ready. So, all right, we'll set that aside. We'll see if we can. Um, what if we try to switch these hands? Will that work? Mm, sort of. Let's see if we can. Um... We'll come down like this. I can bring this down right here. And bring this leg up and this leg out. How will that look? Bring this arm a little further like this. This is almost a great pose if I can get it to stay though. <laughs> All right, this is a little awkward. Let's see if I can fix it a little bit better. But why did I do this pose like this? Why, you ask? Because of this. So let me see if I can get this to work at all. All right, we did as close as we could do to that artwork right there with the mobility that this action figure allows us to do. So it only goes so far back in the arms and it goes so far forward with the arms and the head only goes so far um, to the side and around. But still, I think this action pose is still pretty strong, very dynamic. I don't know if the shield is supposed to be a little bit bigger, but 
nonetheless looks absolutely gorgeous i think you'll agree and i say let's move on looks absolutely amazing and let's put them right on over here but you know what the sword's gonna get in the way <laughs> That's all right. All right, let's move on. Next, what do you say? And next we have this outstanding black suit, Black Widow. She looks absolutely amazing. Look at this. And this comes with one of the legs of Crimson Dynamo. Look at these accessories right here. We have another set of hands, so a pair of handguns, and we have these batons. That looks outstanding. Let's see, is this the exact same picture? Uh, mirror image. And good, we have another picture in the back, so it's just those two. Um, the same, but this one is different, so it's not the same picture three times. And again, here we are. So she comes with the left leg of Crimson Dynamo. And let's see what it says back here. Look at this beautiful artwork. It's absolutely great. It says, Black Widow. Natasha Romanoff reunites with a group of spies from her past to stop a lethal force. Yeah, buddy, look at that awesome action pose. I wonder if we can, what's the closest we can get to that action pose with this action figure? And why don't we find out, right? Let's take a look. Let's see, let's get this open. There we go. Looks like it doesn't want to open. <laughs> okay. Come on out. There we are. Look at that awesome Black Widow symbol back there. Let's get our out look at that and why is it slightly looser right anyway get that leg over there. let's see how tall it is compared to her okay decent and let's pop her right on it and if this piece pops off no it does not and let's zoom, zoom on in and let's see what sort of face sculpt we have looks like we have didn't even notice that there's like a little blemish right there let me see if I can get that off give me a second all right, thank you guys. Looks like I was able to um, get it off for the most part. Look at that. This great uh, head sculpt. You know what, let's get closer. That way it's not just a ton zooming, but definitely closer. Look at this face sculpt, looks awesome. Uh, the paint on the eyes is, looks like several colors just kind of dotted on there, so that looks a little uh, odd when you zoom on in. It looks great from far, but you zoom on in and, you know, it looks a little interesting. Uh, the face and the hair sculpt look absolutely wonderful. I'm digging that. Look at that. A little bit of plastic coming off right there. Let's just kind of pull that off. Okay, look at this awesome sculpt. This is a great sculpt. And then, um, I don't know if this um, belt is supposed to be, yeah, centered right here. That Black Widow symbol. There we go, looks like it's also not attached, but it's kind of um, on there. So that's why it can move a little bit. Let's see, we have, um, wow, it's a pretty big um, ab crunch, but backwards. And then tilt and pivots there. This is where it turns, it's not turn at the waist. Let's see the shoulders. The shoulders move in uh, pretty far in, I guess, considering it has this like shoulder lip right here. They go around, they click every time they, they move around. Look at that. So that holds them in place pretty well. We have a single joint on the elbow. It comes more in than a 90 degree angle, but it does have this to keep it from going back. So um, I love the detail that's on her suit. I love this right here on her, on her wrists. That looks very reminiscent of the comic books. And then I wonder why this one has it slightly, oh, because you can move this part right here on the wrist. I was like, it looks a little different in this one than this one. Okay, so let's see the wrist. This one goes side to side, up and down, kind of like that and around. Looks like it holds a gun. So does this one. We both have trigger finger, and they go, they kind of pivot like this as opposed to back and forth. Um, kind of undecided about that. Looks like we have two holsters right here. The detail on the suit looks great. Let's see, the legs. I wish they would move a little bit more because you can't kick higher than that, I guess. Look. And so with Black Widow being able to do all sorts of 
great um, action fighting. It'd be nice for her to do um, better movement on the hips to the knees. Work pretty well. Um, we have good point and flex right here. Do they pivot? Yes, they do. So that's awesome. Looks like a mirror image on these two legs. That's great. The only thing, and it um, moves right here at the, the high part of the thigh. The legs open up to about that much, but they only come so far forward because it ends up hitting right here. Where when I pushed, it actually made a line on the action figure. Look at that. Because it hits right here. So that's a little unfortunate because obviously I don't want it marking my action figure. And I also want the legs to come up a little further than just that. That's not very far forward. So other than that, this action figure looks great. Looks like we're not going to have very um, amazing mobility um, to pose this action figure. Which is unfortunate because I wanted to try and do this pose right here. There is no way this leg is coming this high. And she could probably do barely this bendy knee right here. So let's see what the closest we can do to get that is. Um, but let's take a look at these accessories. Look at these two handguns. Those are great. These are two fists. So I don't want any fists. Let's see what these two batons look like. They're a little bent from the packaging. Let's bring this down here. And will they even be held very well? Yeah, because they will. Because they get thicker on the bottom. Look at that. Now we're going to have to straighten this one out. But otherwise, we can definitely have her. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. In order to get it straight, going up and down a 90 degree angle, we'd have to pivot her hand um, away from this angle it's at. So again, we're, we're coming up on some, some unfortunate roadblocks here. Let's see, in order to have this here, we can't have it up because we'd have to pivot the wrist up. So this is already not going as planned. have one knee bent, but it's definitely not going as planned like that. It's the best we can do to bend her leg up for it to look up like this. So we're going to have to think of another pose, and I don't know if I like the way these look with these hands that it came with. because they're leaning too far forward. And to bring them back, we don't want the wrist going like that. It should just naturally close like that. So let's try putting the guns in our hand because that should look better. There we go. Pull those out. And hopefully they're not at a weird angle. Pop that right in here. Okay. Here we are, just place it so that the, the wrist works well. And you know what? That should work. So, let's see. Let's bring a different um, pose in this. All right, so we're gonna do a very simple stance, a very strong um, uh, standing in control stance. Very simple. Um, looks like the leg is getting loose. Look at this, unfortunately. Um, and because her limited ability to be posed, um, we're gonna choose to go with this. Now, I forgot to mention how much uh, ability we have to move the head. 
You can move, you know, pretty far down, but if you'll notice the way the hair is and the fact that it's still like really thick plastic, we can't move it other than really side to side and barely pivot. So moving it to this side will allow for more mobility. Um, this side will not because it's going to start hitting there. But nonetheless, for our power stance, we're going to spread the legs a little bit like that. And then just have her just very confident. What do you say to that? I think it looks absolutely amazing. Put her right over here. There we go. Look at that. And from this angle, it's great. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on to our next action figure. Okay, so next we have Yelena Belova. Let's go ahead and bring this up here. Set that leg aside, and let's take a look at this incredible action figure right here. Looks so outstanding. Uh, the only gripe I have about this box is it looks like the same artwork three times. Instead of at least two different um, pieces of art on this box, and technically a fourth time. <laughs> but she looks great, looks like she has um, two sets of hands, and oh, it's two fists and two open hands for the handguns. So it looks like, is it the same handgun as, as the Blackwood over there? Yep, definitely looks like it. And this definitely looks like uh, one very similar to the best she was wearing in um, Black Widow was wearing in Avengers Infinity War. And don't forget, she also had blonde hair in Avengers Infinity War, so let's get her out. Let's take a look, and you know what? I almost forgot to read the write-up. So, right back here, it says, Yelena Belova, a product of the Red Room's ruthless training program. Yelena Belova is a fiery assassin. Absolutely incredible. Pop her on out of here. Ooh, I don't want to tear the box. Why is it not? There we go. Come on out. And jeez. Look at all this um, build a figure pieces. Wow. This looks like one shoulder. And I guess that's the back. So that's going to go here. So, incredible. Let's see how tall he's going to be. I guess not ridiculously tall, but definitely tall. Taller. Alright, and let's set these parts aside. And we'll get to that later. Let's get this action figure on her. And look how she has her hair braided like that. Let's go ahead and get um get her guns out. And let's put them right here in the holster, something that we didn't do with our last unboxing of the Black Suit Black Widow. Oh! Only has one. Then these are knives. Okay. So let's take a look at that. Of course, we have a set of hands right there. Let's take the package aside for a second. Let's bring this on in so we can take a look. And so look at this um, face sculpt right here. It looks like we have kind of the same thing going on with the eyes on this one. How when you get really up close, it's just like a bunch of spray dots. And it almost appears to have um, detail when you zoom out, but not. Let's see if I can get also this black speck off right here in a second. Okay, I was able to carefully get it off with a knife. There we are. And then, wow, this head's a little looser than I would have thought and would like, but it is staying in whichever way I put it. Interesting. So it actually does not have a joint. It's just on a ball. So it's on a ball joint. But she actually has an extremely long neck. So I don't know if I prefer that. I think uh, I like the one they did for Black Widow. So let's see. The shoulders have a lip here also. But these go more than a 90 degree angle out. Or at least that one does. Or right at it, I guess. Let's see. And we can go further in than 90 degrees right here on the arm for the elbow. Oof. We're gonna need to support this. 
works here too, but you really had to push it in. And these can move also, so be aware of that. Let's see, these wrists, the fist wrists do come in and out. And the wrists that are made for the gun probably go side to side. Yep. So, and then these right here, these stun wrist bracelets. They're not glued on. I love the paint job right here on this tactical vest. That looks absolutely great. Uh, not feeling it with this simple ball head joint. Yeah. Good ab crunching here and mobility. The shoulders do go all the way around. These don't necessarily click. And then the waist doesn't move, it moves right here. And um, the rib cage. Let's see, this is also not attached but it is on there really well the, the black widow symbol and this is however attached to the leg here these um these holsters right here the holster and then man this is some soft plastic look at that um right here for these knives daggers and let's see again these legs don't come very far forward it starts hitting right there so it's probably, probably almost the exact same mold as the Black Widow black suit. Let's see, we have, this leg actually comes in even further, right here on this knee joint, or this double knee joint, so that's cool. But that doesn't do us a whole lot of good, a little unnecessary, if the legs barely even move out. There we go, look forward, she can't even sit up without leaning back, look at that. You'd have to ab crunch her a lot just to get her to sit up almost. So I'm a little disappointed in that. Look at that. You have to at least have them sit up straight. Okay, let's take a look at the boots. Um, they pivot pretty well. We'll go forward and back. And so the sculpt is amazing. The paint is, I love it. I love the way the gloves look right here, even though there's a little bit of paint missing on the inside. Um, the face and the head sculpt and all that looks great, but it's the neck and the way the paint is just sprayed on doesn't really strike me as, as outstanding, but um, it is cool to have an action figure of her. Move this up. And, you know, her head having to stick out like that is not one of the finer points. So, the fact that it, it just pops out so much um, takes away from some of the impact. But, I'm sure we can find a, a good pose. That ought to work. Maybe we should put two guns in her hands also. Let's see. That still looks great. Let's see what happens when we put her right next to Black Widow. So, that's pretty awesome actually. I'm digging it. All right, we'll leave it like that for now. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see who we got next. And next we actually have Red Guardian and Red Guardian looks outstanding. It's absolutely incredible. And I think that's probably the size of the shield that Taskmaster is supposed to have. But again, haven't seen the movie yet. It's only April, the movie's not supposed to be coming out till November now. It's got moved from May. And here's the left arm of Crimson Dynamo. And look at this beautiful artwork. Let me zoom out real quick. I wish we had an alternate head that had that because that helmet looks great. Love the way that looks. Same picture, a mirror image right here. And unfortunately the same picture a third time and then a fourth time because it would be nice to have, you know, 
an alternate um, artwork back here but let's take a look and so it says Red Guardian Alexei Shostakov is a super soldier and spy who has lived a lifetime of triumph during the Cold War and wow look at that and you know what just like we kind of talked about Taskmaster check this out we had this bad boy straight up cold chilling and look at the difference from this simple comic book Red Guardian his paint job um, the colors and everything comic book style versus the movie one which actually looks so much more grounded in reality just looks just takes it to another level doesn't it look at that so we'll compare those in another video but definitely wanted to show you that so let's get them on out and so right off the bat I wish it did have um, alternate head so we can have one with the helmet but alas it was not to be this epic shield so remember there was a time to say so get closer look at this arm right here for Crimson Dynamo wow look how cool that looks I don't know if this one's supposed to be broken like that not sure maybe so but it looks great Let's set that aside. And as I mentioned before, and we'll put this package from Red Guardian away. Set that aside. Um, this shield has this so we can perhaps put back here. Look at that. So we can spin it and get it however we need to. So that looks outstanding. Okay, so let's zoom in since there are no other accessories in the shield. This face sculpt looks absolutely outstanding. Now, as I look a little closer, that's unfortunate. It looks a little rushed and looks like there's a brown that got in that line right there. I wonder if that can be scraped out because that part looks a little rushed. From right here, it looks incredible. And then you turn it there and you're like, whoa, I got a little extra. And, or maybe it's, I can't tell if it's missing paint or um, too much paint. Because it looks like too much, but then it's like, if it's like that, well, maybe it's just not enough. And didn't make it all the way to the end. Uh, nonetheless, the hair looks pretty cool. The paint, again, does look a little rushed right here. It's a little touch of gray. But overall, you can definitely tell that it's him. I love the texture on the suit. I love how there's a little bit of wear and tear look on there, which I'm assuming is supposed to be um, on purpose. I love the, this tactical belt, and this one is also free floating. Let's pull this um, shield off. Wow, all of a sudden now I can't get the shield out. Look at this incredible detail right here. And so this also can go right here on the wrist or go in the hand, because as I mentioned before, like with Taskmaster, this can be tossed right there, or we can put this on the wrist. So let's see, the arms go around, they kind of like click as they go around. The arms go beyond 90 degree angles, and this is some smooth movement articulation right there. We have double joints at the elbows, but his arms are big, so it only comes into about a 90 degree angle. Look at that. Still outstanding. You can turn right here on this part of the bicep and it's nice and thick there we go the wrists go back and forth so I'm digging that I prefer that then then I guess this little up and down right here but um, you know, great so far let's see what sort of ab crunch we have a ridiculously um, back and forth um, ab crunch ability turns well right here at the waist and then look this thigh actually looks like it moves better than our Black Widow ones. Comes a little f further than those. Turns to the high part of the thigh. And same thing on both. And then there's double joints right here at the knee. Look at that. Comes uh, then to about that much. Now let's see. It moves in the high part of the shin. I'm not a big fan of that. Because I'd rather that stay put because we can't move our shins that way. So it looks unnatural if it gets out of sorts like there, see? 
and uh, it looks like the knee is dislocated if we move that. So um, I'd rather move it up here only. But nonetheless, here we are. It moves right here. Take a look at that. The boots look awesome. These straps right here, I'm assuming those are just supposed to be the same color. But um, overall, this suit looks absolutely great. Look at the texture. It's Red Guardian, I'm glad we have him. And let's see, what kind of pose do we want on him? And the, the boxes. Just have them standing strong like this, but um, what about shield? Like, uh, and he doesn't even have two fists come in that box, so let's see, let's try something. All right, a simple but effective stance, like a defensive stance, look at that. The shield down, and that looks absolutely great, look at that. So let's set him right back on over here. Look at this. Spy friends. I think that looks great. Look at that. Let's bring him back forward just a smidge. That looks absolutely incredible. Take a look at that. All right. Great. So, since he didn't have a lot of accessories, um, that's off our Red Guardian, but let's go ahead and move on. Let's see who we've got next. All right, and next in our Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure set for the Black Widow movie, we have this Winter Soldier. This is the comic book version, and it looks like we have the same art four times again, which it's cool artwork, but I just wish we had a couple, like on the Black Widow one. This one comes with the head of Crimson Dynamo, comes with two guns, and it comes with Bucky right here, right? Sergeant Barnes. So, um, let's take a look. And it looks absolutely outstanding from here. Let's see what it says right here. The Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier is a fierce combatant and an asset in battle, no matter which team he fights for. Which is also unfortunate because you want him to fight for the good guys. But um, it's awesome to have him comic book version now and before I pull them out let me show you something you're gonna like this here are two of the three other Winter Soldier action figures we have of course this is from the second Captain America movie and then we have this one which is from Civil War and this one we got as a steal practically from um, Walmart is Walmart exclusive and then which I'll have to go and find we also have the uh, one from Avengers Infinity War which was a, um, a two-pack which came with Falcon but let's get back to this one right here because we'll later on do a comparison video look how cool this is back here this has all these different Marvel sig uh, symbols right here we have Captain America Thor so we have Black Panther, we have Nova, we have Spider-Man, we have Avengers, Ant-Man, uh, Iron Man, so on and so forth, Captain Marvel. That looks great. Okay, so let's get the head out, Crimson Dynamo. This definitely looks like the Mark II of the Crimson Dynamo um, suit. Look at that. Okay, let's get Bucky out. Let's get his... Wow, this is awfully soft plastic, but let's get his, his weapons out. Take a look at that, that one handgun. And what is this? It's like a salt rifle right here. Let's take him out. And let's get closer again. Let's take a look. Wow. This is, of course, his metal arm. Look how soft this plastic is so it doesn't break off. But then again, it'll probably be ripped off, so be careful with that. Let's zoom in. And it's more of a mask here than the black kind of like war paint makeup he had in the movie. We have hints of brown in the hair. And we have what appears to be some... Uh, looks like they've tried it again with a single ball joint on the head. Interesting. On the neck. And I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of that. It looks like it's working out pretty decent here. 
because the hair's down it kind of covers it up but I didn't like it on the Yelena figure so can't blame him for trying something new though all right so this is not attached but it is supposed to remain permanently on there and the only way to remove it would be to remove the arms let's see what sort of articulation we have here this clicks as it goes around moves in the high part of the bicep so we have double joints right here on um, elbow moves in pretty well let's see this watch cool <laughs> that can be turned on its own let's see this wrist good it moves back and forth instead of um, kind of that up and down side to side so it moves this way this finger is pretty soft look at that little tactical pouches right here bags um, this clicks also looks very similar oh no this arm looks huge compared to this one look at this and then uh, we got double joints right here on the elbows comes in right here to almost a 45 degree angle I'm digging that this wrist goes back and forth like this also and around that looks good we'll put the gun in there in a minute so his um, belt does move around freely on its own it's got great detail and great colors there this does not come out none of these weapons do these grenades these uh, magazines this handle for this blade is really small look at that some more magazines this is um, floats right here let's see we got some really wow heavy duty knee joints look at how heavy duty that is okay good turns right here in the high part of the thigh see. same thing on this leg it's kind of just a mirror image you got really great baggy pant detail right here look at that very nice the boots some really well done boots as far as the detail on them and then they do pivot well so that looks great so this bucky action figure looks awesome and Let's see, which gun do we want where? We can put that one there. We can put this one here. Oof, and this is some soft plastic. We'll need to open up this hand momentarily. Just slide that right on in there. And we'll put his trigger finger in there. And you know what? How do we want to pose this Bucky right here? Let's take a look. So let me see. Give me a second. Let me see. All right. So one thing we can actually do is have him hold the gun with both hands. That looks outstanding. I certainly think so. Look at that. Okay. Depends how we want him to, to be. Look at that. his ab crunch to look even more fierce do we want to do that or do we want to have him hold both guns so let's take a look at that okay and I actually think I like this even better just an imposing figure look I separate his legs a little bit so that he's kind of taking a step forward kind of aggressively and this Bucky looks absolutely outstanding look at that so I'm gonna bring him right on over here. Have him just towering over basically everybody else. Everybody's like in defensive mode and he's kind of like on the offensive. There we go. Is he gonna start leaning forward? Hopefully not. There we are. Let me just fix his feet real quick. There we go. Hey, let's work the second ago. Forward slightly. There we go. That looks absolutely outstanding. Okay, great. And if we're for Red Guardian crouching down, you know, he'd probably be as tall as him. All right, so let's move on. What do you say? All right, so in this set, there's still two more before the build a figure. And 
Let's see who's left. We still have Marvel's Crossbones, and of course, this is the comic book Crossbones. And look, he's got a, two sets of weapons here. Um, those are his only accessories. And then we have this um, leg for Crimson Dynamo. Actually, this, this hand, this arm. Let's take a look at the artwork right here. Looks like the exact same artwork four times. They could have at least given us one, um, one different pose or something, but anyway here we are he looks pretty cool he does not have that same neck clearly as two of the other action figures but um let's take a look what it says on the back and let's get him out so it says marvel's crossbones crossbones makes it his mission to take out captain america no matter the loss of life at stake which is something that we definitely saw in civil war because he was ready to self-destruct just to take out cap which is interesting because at the beginning of Captain America Winter Soldier, he's definitely got like, definitely is in awe of him and thinks he's so amazing. By the end of the movie, he can't stand him. But um, take a look at this. This looks absolutely outstanding. And this is our Crimson Dynamo hand. We'll put his uh, arm over the side and get this crossbones out. And be careful with this because look, you don't want this to rip out. So be careful when you're taking that out, push it out carefully. And you know what? These almost look like what it was, Yon Rogs um, blasters, except they're not green, they're white, gray. So let's use these instead. Make it match. Kind of like that little idea that they match. We'll set that aside. And let's take a closer look. And take a look at that. It's got a kind of a cool sculpt. It looks like I got some plastic on my finger. And this one, he's definitely gonna be able to have great head articulation. Look at that. He's got that skull mask and he can pivot his head a little bit. His arms nice and chunky around. Look at that. Wow, this one actually goes pretty far back. They're clicking as they move along. He's got the crossbones right here on his chest. In case there's any question of him being crossbones. Um, oops, wow. Got a little overzealous there. And then um, he's definitely got the strong triceps right there. His um, double joints for his elbows bring his arms pretty good in. Let's see. And let's see. Do his hands. Oh, they again do that thing where it goes this way and barely even moves. Let's see, same thing with this one. They'll go, come this way and that way and they barely even moves that way. These right here on his wrists, they're not permanently glued or anything. And then his belt right here is completely attached right here and it's got kind of a cool detail right here. It's slightly di um, different color paint right here for the buckle, um, but it still kind of floats right there. Got a strong ab crunch, look at that. And then moves right here at the waist. Let's see if the legs go up about that far. They move on the high part of the thigh. We've got double joints right here in the knees, but they only come into about a 90 degree angle. Um, it does move on the high part of the shin on these um, big boots. And very glossy boots and the um, ankle has got good mobility look at that Let's see what it says here it says 2020 Hasbro so it's kind of cool he's huge and it's kind of cool how this is blowing I don't know if I always want it looking like that but you know still kind of cool let's give him his Weapon right here. And this is. Take a look at this. We have two of them. Unfortunately, it's kind of pushing down, so we're gonna have to. There we go. Drop that on in there. We have to wedge that open by pulling this out. And this one may not be strong enough to do it with this, but just this, we may need out. There we go. I twisted it in there. Now I'm gonna twist it back. There 
There we go. Where's the other one? Let's jam this thumb open. Well, if I'm just gonna use this, I guess I can put this here and then roll it out like this. Look at that. It's one way. It's not gonna be the quickest, but look at that. And then twist it around like that. So that little trick. <laughs> Actually wasn't hundred percent sure it would work, but it did work. And there we are. Look at that. So what do you think? Um so he looks pretty cool. Let me bring this a little higher. Um he's definitely tall, he's definitely a big guy. And he definitely wants revenge out on Captain America. But, you know, not a huge, huge fan of how he looks, but definitely cool to add him to our collection. So, let's see, let's bring his ab crunch. Down like that. Let's turn him this one. How do we want him standing? All right, let me see. Let me play with a couple of poses. Give me a second. I guess I could try and do this again like the other ones, but don't know if it'll work. Let's see. All right, so I ended up settling with something simple. Again, just like a menacing, strong power pose. And I couldn't figure out why he looked so odd at first. This is because his belt was so high up. And I was like, man, he looks so odd. So when I push that down, <laughs> he looks better in proportion. But again, um, he does have like long legs and a, a short wide torso and kind of like an arch back. So um, he doesn't look great in every pose because of, you know, he's got odd proportions. So let's put these, these gray Jan Rog guns right here actually in these holsters to actually fit very well. Look at that. Let me see. It goes right here. You can't fit the other ones because they're too big. Let's just take them out with a bunch of guns. Look at that. And there we are. We'll have him just kind of flexing with his gun across his double barrel gun across his chest. So, and the other one down. So, that'll work out great. Look at that. It's definitely tall. There we are. Look at that. that looks awesome. There we are. And we have one more action fig in this build a figure set. So let's move on. Let's see what we got. We have today. Last but not least, in this Build-A-Figure set at least, because then there's still the other two after the Build-A-Figure. This is Marvel's Spy Master. And let me just say, um, I'm not excited that this looks appears to be like the Blizzard body sculpt. Even has the shins that move there and I don't know. And then again, he's got the same gun we just talked about right here with crossbones, that Yon rog looking one. It's like that laser, but um, Nonetheless, well, let's get them open. We have not even mirror image, the same picture right here on the side and the same picture on the back. So again, we have the same picture four times. Could have at least given us a different um, artwork there. And let's see what it says, Marvel Spy Master. An undercover operative skilled in sabotage. Spy Master possesses superb fighting capabilities. Pop them on out. Let's get them open. And uh, unfortunately, not one of my favorite body sculpts and single accessory, and not even a great one. So, here we are. We have this other leg for our Crimson Dynamo, and that will complete our set. 
bust him on out of here. And let's get that gun, that little pea shooter on out of there. Let's see. Let's put on here. Let's set that aside. And let's zoom on in here. So, Spy Master. There's his symbol right here. So we even got some paint bleeding. And right here, looks a little rushed. Not even a clean line. Almost looks like a crayon line. Uh, as far as the head, the paint job on the head, and the symbol right there. Looks okay. There's a scratch right here, unfortunately. Um, let's see. For head articulation and movement, we definitely got strong mobility there. We can turn it, we can pivot a little bit, all the way down, all the way back. That's great. We got this really strong ab crunch. Interesting, that gap. All the way forward, look at that. Arms move all the way around. Check that out. Um, they do move beyond 90 degree angle out. Moving a high part of the bicep. The uh, elbow does move into almost a 45 degree angle, it would appear. And then just about um, a mirror image on those. The wrist to go back and forth, I prefer, I prefer it like that. We can put the gun in either one of the hands. We do have a holster right here, this lemon yellow holster. We have this gun, which I told you is, appears to be uh, the same gun, but a different flavor. Look at that. We have gray, uh, which is, I guess, mint and uh, cherry flavor. <laughs> Now let's put that back right here on crossbones and just to to be honest this is my least favorite of all the molds of guns so that can go right here in his holster which we'll take it out in a minute so we have these hands were really wide open to hold guns um since right here at the waist got a ridiculously strong ab crunch this is a floating uh utility belt you even have an S right here, but it's only red on the front and kind of bleeds over to the top and the bottom. We have a little bit of paint bleed right here. And then we have this little bit of utility and tactical but um, belt, but it's not a whole lot to it. It's not a strong mold and um, it's even kind of pushing out right there. Let's see, um, the legs do come pretty well forward. Uh, they do bend pretty well at the knees right here. That. They bend a whole lot better, look at that, than the uh, our Black Widow ones in the Alina. The legs do come out straight. Um, it actually feels a little looser now. Um, it does move right here, as I mentioned. The high part of the thigh, I'm sorry, of the shin. We do point and flex pretty well right here on the ankles. And you know, unfortunately, uh, this is not the most amazing um, action figure. We do have multiple symbols right here. And let's get his gun out. Let's see how well it fits in his hand. Looks like it fits well. And there we are. So let me see something. Let me show you something. All right, so I wanted to show you that um, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same sculpt, but it definitely looks very similar to um, this Human Torch. With this Human Torch, actually, they did you know a pretty decent job. Um, there are some uh, obviously some striking similarities. Unfortunately, this look. I'm not saying that that's going to happen to uh, this one, but um, yeah. It didn't help that I was like, you know what? They did a pretty good job with this because it had all these cool little flares. I like the the way this um, you could see through him and the texture and the head sculpt. Like this is probably the best I've ever seen with this body sculpt. But it didn't help that it fell apart. So um, and this one looks a little uninspired to begin with. At least that one had really cool like the plastic happening going on. So, all right, let's get him in a pose and let's move on to Crimson Dynamo. What do you say? So, what's the best pose I can get out of this blue and yellow figure? 
Let's see. Give me a second. All right, so we're just having like with a quick little on the go stance. Set them up over here. Next to crossbones and I'll call it a day for him. Look at that. Okay, cool, look at that. So far, these four obviously are my favorite. They look amazing for the movie. And then we start to drop off one by one here. So it's like pretty good. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move on to our absolute last action figure from this Build-A-Figure set. And then who knows, the last two after that, the special exclusives. So what do you say to that? All right. Moving on to Crimson Dynamo. Part you've all been waiting for. His legs right here. Dish. Let's see what this actually looks like right here. Look at that. that looks pretty cool, actually. Look at that. So, yeah. Not bad. Okay, so let's get them built. Let's just take a quick glance to make sure we're not missing anything. Those go on the right shoulder, and then everything else pretty much self-explanatory except it doesn't show the back. Okay, so Crimson Dynamo. What do you say we pop the head on first, and look at that. Neck pivoting right there. Let's get closer in here. That looks great. Okay. Pop this. Are you sure this leg goes here? Nope, it goes here. Oof. Oof, did a kiss. Was it on? <laughs> and the only reason why I knew it was that leg, which I had it backwards, is because it angles up that way. Wow, that was. Come on, I was gonna say, wow, that was easier than I thought. Popped right off. Look at that. There we go. Oh man. It's not staying on. It should be, and it's just popping right off. There we go. Pop this right on in here, look at that. There we go. This one in here. Very cool. This is actually awesome. I was afraid it might kind of look like the one that was the Cree Sentry or whatever. This looks like it just pops on right here. Right here, and this will go right here and right here also. Very cool. And then this, I guess, just pops on right here. This under that, I guess. There we go. Look at that. Incredible. Let's stand back. Didn't see how big he really is. Look at that. All right, looks pretty awesome. And I want to show you. Um, if you're not familiar, just lift it up right here, and you'll take a look to see which um, person was actually in this suit. I would guess it would be this one, obviously, because look how incredibly close this looks. For this Crimson Dynamo. And then if you read on, obviously this was kind of like the second version made by, um, um, that was originally made from Anton Vanko's suit, um, but I um, believe was never able to actually use it. But either way, um, it looks pretty outstanding. Look at this. I love the detail. There's a lot of love went into this figure. We can move right here the neck. We can also move it right here at the head, the base of the neck. And it looks absolutely menacing and looks wonderful. I love that um, the arms move pretty well. This can actually just pop out if you'd like it to. And it still moves up and down a little bit. Um, can 
come over here in the elbow. Does not quite come into a 90 degree angle, but still, this definitely rotates in and out. Look at that. This beautiful detail on this fist. This beautiful detail on this hand. This does the same here. It's nice, smooth, fluid motions. And man, that looks so great. Good detail on the back of the suit. He, um, turns right here where the rib cage would be. And then ab crunches really well. Um, the legs, now the legs might pop off if you move them too much at the hip where they popped on, but we have double joints right here. Look at this great mold right here. Look at that. Turns right here where the hip joint is. Well, no. Um, on this side, here's the hip joint here. Let's see how far forward the legs actually come. Ooh, pretty far forward, but um, as I mentioned before, this doesn't go super far in, so this might still pop out. Uh, heavy duty knees, the boots, the feet do pivot well, and they turn, but obviously he doesn't need to have any crazy um, posability like Spider-Man or anything, so that's something that just keep in mind, but he is pretty big. Let me see, who can I compare him to? Well, here's what I'll compare him to. I was afraid he was going to look like Kree Sentry. So Kree Sentry actually is taller than I thought he's going to be. But Kree Sentry looks kind of off and goofy. Look at that. Because I don't know, his torso is kind of like off and huge shoulders and big um, um, Reese's Buttercup hat or whatever. <laughs> but look how great this looks and how this one just doesn't cut it. But either way, there's a size, and then to put him next to, like, check out Molten Man. Let me put Molten Man next to him. You'll see that. Set that aside, or let's put him on this side. And that'll tell you how big our Molten Man figure was. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? So, three builded figures right here, all under one roof. Okay, great. That was a lot of fun. And what do you say, guys? We still have two more action figures that are Black Widow related. Of course, one from the movie and one from the comic books. Okay, so let's set these aside. Let's put this aside right here. And let's get them. Um, Everything organized really well. Let's take a look. All right, friends, so what do you think of these? They look absolutely incredible. These are, of course, the Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure set from the Black Widow movie. We have four from the actual movie. We have three from the comic books, and then one Build-A-Figure that is from the comic books, of course, and we're gonna now move on to this Black Widow Deadly Origin, this exclusive from Target here, and looks absolutely incredible. Look at this beautiful artwork right here. And this is the white suit, um, Black Widow, which sounds a little weird to say, but anyway, looks absolutely gorgeous. And so then we're gonna move on to this white suit, Black Widow, right here from the movie, this deluxe set. So let's see what the back says. It says, Black Widow. Natasha Romanoff must save everyone she ever loved before her own past kills them. Wow. All right, let's get this open. Looks absolutely wonderful. And let's see what sort of accessories we have. Man, that is a huge gun. All right, let's get this open. There we are. Let's pop this gun out. Black Widow um, emblem right here. Let's see how cool she is. And look at these weapons right here. Which ones are able to hold those little blasts? Is it all of them? Wow, cool. There's a couple things I didn't even notice. Look, like there is a like smoking gun effect. Which is very subtle. Look at this. So 
Uh, I don't want to lose those, but let's take them out. Let's see what they look like. Because that's actually really cool. Let's take these weapons out right here. Uh-oh, I already lost one. How did I know that was going to happen? Let's see. What is it? Here we are. Okay, so let me not lose anything else. Looks like the all three have holes so we can put there. Let's take a look at what this smoking gun effect would look like. That's really cool. And I guess these both look this no, they look slightly different. Look at that. That looks really cool. And we can also have this. Look at that. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at our Natasha. And so we have, um, the paint looks a little rushed, but still, it's a nice head sculpt. The hair, I think could be a little better. I don't like the way it's just flying over here like limp arms. But um, let's see, the head was pretty well, at least side to side and around. So that's good. This is a soft plastic right here. That doesn't interfere. You can ab crunch pretty well right here about the rib cage. Let's see, it's almost like a pearl white. I'm sure you can notice that. The arms do move pretty far back, so that's awesome. Look at that. And then move pretty far forward. Then we have a single joint right at the elbow that does turn like that. And then the wrists, they do this deal right here, which I'm not super fond of, but at least they turn. This one does go back and forth the way I do like, but it is angled in a way that I'm not super excited about. Here is this um, cool Black Widow belt. And I wish it was attached and didn't just float freely, but I'm sure we could glue that if we wanted to. Okay, the legs move decent forward. And we have double joints right here at the knees. So we can get a pretty good, um, we can still get pretty good poses right here. If we wanted to like holding that rifle or whatever. And then, um, oh, if I can even get this foot to move, got it to move. There we go. Got some good point and flex mobility and then it um, pivots. So that's cool. You can have her like sliding in. So let's see what that would look like. Put this gun right here in her hand, and then it's gonna be smoking. Now we're holding this one. And instead of this one smoking, we can put it, okay, let's put it right there in, uh, um, in her trigger finger. We can put these little bad boys. That looks super cool. Yes! I'm sure we could also find a way to. Look at that. Very nice. Could also have her firing both guns, I'm sure. But that's really cool. And then, man, with this huge rifle, I guess we can kind of uh, put it over this and over this. Actually, oh, I guess I could have just done that from the get go. Let me go around this. Oops, that's what I get for. Getting a little too overzealous. Let me put this back on. Give me a second. Okay, cool. Let me put it back on. Actually, something funny happened when I put this on here. Um, I put it on and it just didn't suit her to have this huge gun around her neck, kind of restricting her fighting ability. So I was like, you know what? Nah. Leave it off. So, I think I just prefer that. 
So yeah, you know what? Pretty cool. Now, something that was a little odd was, um, look at this, is that <laughs> her neck and ch uh, chest skin like protrudes from here. So I'm like, that's not cool. It looks like it's layered on top. It looks kind of awkward. Now at first glance, you don't even notice it, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. So that's a little odd. I've never seen one like that. So that's a little unfortunate, but otherwise the rest looks pretty cool. So let's see if I can, oops, a little crazy there. And so anyway, let's get her one good pose and set her up. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Something simple and effective. And let's see if we can put her. Oop. Can get her to stand. Let me see if I can get her to stand. Here we are. Oh, why am I having so much trouble with this figure? just not going to work out, is it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just going to put it. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright. So, that looks pretty cool. And we'll just have her there. And that'll be that for now. <laughs> now, I got so excited I finally got her there that started dropping the camera. All right, so what do you think? Time to move on to the last figure in this set. It's Black Widow, Marvel Legends, deluxe set. And what do you say we do it? Okay. So next, and actually last but not least, from all of these incredible Marvel Legends from the Black Widow set and build a figure for Crimson Dynamo, we have this Target exclusive Marvels, Black Widow, of course Scarlett Johansson from the Black Widow movie. This is the white suit Black Widow Marvel Legend, where here's the black suit and then here's the comic book white suit. And let's get her open. Look at this beautiful package right there. Look how great that looks. And compare that to, let's see, let's get this. Look at that. Beautiful artwork. Definitely goes hand in hand with that. Look at all these little Black Widow symbols kind of hidden right there. And beautiful artwork. Mirror image on the side. Looks just like her. Look at that. Looks great. And then. Look at this cool pose right here. That's a little bit of an awkward leg, but <laughs> the rest looks absolutely great. And then the back here it says, Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff reunites with a group of spies from her past to stop a lethal force. And so we're thinking that lethal force, of course, is Taskmaster. And I wonder if there's even more than that. But look, this one even comes with a deluxe stand and explosion. So let's get this on and open. I'm super excited about this. Great. Oop. All right. Pop around out. Look how awesome that looks. It matches all the rest of the action figures that we've done so far. And wow, look. Here's the stand by itself. Three in the stand, the base. And look at this awesome explosion. So let's get her out. She's the part that really matters. Everything else is accessories. And let's get up close and personal. Oop. Again, getting overzealous. And look, it's got a beautiful head sculpt right here. A little bit of discoloration here I'm sure we can get off 
to that. I like the hair sculpt. It's very similar to the previous one, except the hair doesn't look as red, it looks a little more brown. And let's see. Ooh, that was kind of weird. Look at that. Um, we don't have much head articulation because this hair kind of blocks that. All right, we move right here for an ab crunch right here about the rib cage. The arms go about that far in. This one's a little more restricted. I don't know why if they look about the same. So, not sure why this one goes in a little bit more than this one, but either way. Um, also doesn't come in as much. So we have a single joint right here at the elbow that brings us in further than 90 degrees. This um, right here around her wrist, these little stun guns right here on her wrist. They do move um, freely. Her wrist moves back and forth, which is kind of cool. Um, these are just closed fists, and we have two other sets of hands, which we're about to show you. Um, this right here, her belt does float freely, but it is attached and intended to be here permanently. Um, we do have holsters, two different, uh, one for each leg. The leg, again, doesn't come all the way 90 degree angle, so she can't fully even sit up straight, which is unfortunate, but that is consistent with the other two figures in the set. And um, if you'll go back and check those out. And here we are. We got good articulation in the knees. We have great articulation here in the ankles. Look at that. It pivots well. So that's good. Good point and flex. Um, got great detail in the suit here. Look at that. Like the sculpt. A little bit of scuffing there. It's all right. And let's take a look at these other accessories. Ooh, I didn't mean to knock down our Taskmaster. That's all right. Look at these blasts. Ooh, these are attached right here. Look at that. Okay. This right here. This looks so cool. I love these little explosion blasts right here. There's a small one. And then we have these other sets of hands right here. Look at this. Let's see what the difference is. I guess this one doesn't have... These two right here don't have trigger fingers and these two do. And so these guns, we have these little like stun gun blue explosions right here. And we have these hand-to-hand -hand weapons right here. So, what do you say? Let's take a look at the box again. Let's see what's recommended here. That looks cool. But I think let's use the guns. Or let's at least put the guns in the holsters, right? So, let's take these out. And I'll show you that everything up close. These are cool, but I'll pass this time. You can use the guns. That's cool, there's two of them. Let's use these little shock bracelets right here. Let's see how I can get these out. Oh, you have to take the hand off. To be able to put these around the wrist. Trigger finger, and let's put her fist. Well, I guess let's let's see both. I'm sure you want to see that. So first of all, the fists. Let's set this aside. You don't want to see this coming out. that on right there. Look at that.
What do you think about that? It's cool, doesn't it? So she is like. Let's zoom in on that right there. Look at that. Oop. Not what I meant to do. There we go. Look at that. That looks really cool. But let's take that off. Let's put this on. Let's take this off. Put this on. Put a little handgun in right here. Put this little handgun in right here. There we go. Again with this little pivoting wrist that goes like this, but which is unfortunate because it looks a little unnatural to have, have her have to move her hand like that, but anyway. Let's move this out. Oh, I forgot this one with the shoulder that doesn't move out the way we want it to. Unfortunately. I have to move this one out. There we go. And that looks pretty cool. Let's see what we can do with this base here. We got a couple of pegs so that we can put our feet. Looks like we can place this explosion just about anywhere. This looks like we we'll put it right here. And this can be just about anywhere. But again, let's get the back. Let's see what's recommended here. Look at this. We can put this here. We can have it attach with this little clamp. And we have the option of doing this. And placing that there. It goes up and down that. Okay, that makes sense. And then that pivots. Cool. And then of course we can just place these here. Doosh. Great. So we can just put this here. This opens like this. And it is spring loaded. So that's cool. We can put this right on in here. So that'll snap into place. And I guess we can put this wherever we want it. this and it kind of snaps and place this here and here and as far as this goes let's see that can go right there this can go right here and we do have this right here So, you can have these going in all sorts of directions, actually. Look at that. That's really cool, actually. We can bring this up, like so. And I guess this can turn. And we can angle this. So that's really outstanding. You can even turn that. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Bring it down like this. Wow, that looks great. Maybe we should do that. I'm gonna put this other stuff back. And I'm gonna set this up to look like really cool. Cutting against um, Taskmaster here. So let me put these hands away. Put 
this in here. There we go. Tape that up. And I don't want to lose any part of this. Put these in here. Make sure we don't lose that. And let's do a final action sequence. What do you say? All right, and here we go. We have a really cool action scene right here where Black Widow is kind of like flying through the air, jumping. And of course, we have another Black Widow over here. <laughs> and then our other figure is kind of waiting to jump in on the action. So, looks pretty cool. I love it. I think it looks absolutely great. What do you guys think? So guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can notify every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And yeah, let us know where in the world you're watching from. What do you think of these incredible action figures? Aren't they amazing? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten to complete the set. So if you have not seen the other ones, well, let me tell you. Go back and check them out. So guys, thanks again. We'll see you soon. Check out our channel page. We have more great videos like this. Thanks again for watching. Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace. All right, friends. So I'm super excited to get started. And as I mentioned a moment ago, we're going to be doing this incredible Red Guardian with Melina action figure set. We got this at GameStop. And that's how much it was, apparently. <laughs> I didn't remember exactly. But that's how much it was. And these figures were so incredible. I can't believe it's been over a year since we've taken a look at those. And then you know what? We're going to need to do this Walmart exclusive Black Widow afterwards because we've already done this Target exclusive. So let's go ahead and jump on in. And then I believe this was perhaps may have been Target exclusive as well. But um, we'll include that afterwards. But let's jump into this. Let's get everything organized. And um, yeah. Found this at GameStop and can't wait to take a closer look. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this set. And so let me just say, I was so excited to finally find it again at GameStop. And you can find it right now at most. Maybe even check uh, GameStop.com or the app. And just to make sure that it is in stock, because there's usually only one set there. But um, let's take a look at this beautiful package, of course. This Black Widow logo looks amazing. And look at Red Guardian right here on this side. Look at uh, Moline on this side. And this looks like the same art here. And let's take a look and see what it says back here. It says, Red Guardian and Molina. After decades of service, Molina Vostokov distanced herself from the Red Room. But when Natasha Romanoff returns, Molina and Red Guardian must decide where their allegiance lies. Yep. That looks awesome. Let's go ahead and get this open and look at all these accessories. So open this up right here. Pop this on out. Uh oh. Like, why isn't it opening? I guess I guess it's just the shape. I thought there was tape. But I guess it's just the shape of how it curves right here. So let's slide this out. Go. Look at that Black Widow symbol right there. And here are our action figures. Let me get just a little bit closer. Let's take a look at our Red Guardian. Let's pop them on out. And take a closer look here. And get his shield. And this that appears to be an action figure of him I don't want to definitely don't want to break that so let me get the tape off instead of just ripping him out pop him out and we'll take a look at the other head David Harbour here so let's set that over here and let's take a close look and so right off the bat here's the head sculpt right here And looks like we have a little bit of paint bleed in a couple of places. Um, but overall, a good sculpt. 
and so it looks like the paint's a little off so the eyes are a little shifted that way but I'm sure if you look to see other ones some of them might actually be aligned a little better but aside from the paint bleed the sculpt is pretty nice there we are um, we do have a little bit of extra plastic right there and um, I like the texture on his suit this looks pretty awesome look at this emblem right here I'm sorry I keep going out of focus here we are look at that and let's see what sort of articulation we have the arms go around pretty well and they click as they go let's see how far out they'll go a uh, pretty decent amount out look at that this one's going out a little bit more than this one but for the most part it's about the same it turns at the high part of the bicep here we do have double joints at the elbows um, let's see if it'll bring this arm in any further so we can bend this part first no even though we have double joints it looks like this is going to restrict it to 90 degree angle maybe only slightly more I don't want to force it and then um, let's see the wrist do turn it appears that it should at least come forward right here there we go and the wrist isn't going to go too far back because there's a lip right there you'll notice in the back of the wrist so but it does turn pretty well it should be the same here oh this one actually goes this way and there's an open hand on this one and take a look at the, the detail and the sculpt the colors are pretty nice got an ab crunch right here that wow that actually goes pretty far back and pretty far forward let's see the head articulation it actually turns pretty well it doesn't go very far back because it restricts it right here it goes okay forward all in all pretty decent head articulation look at that uh, it does turn at the waist this belt is uh, intentionally left loose and not glued down so look at this utility belt here the legs bring out to not quite a 90 degree angle but still come out pretty well okay let's see what sort of articulation we have there it does uh, move on the high part of the thigh we do have double joints at the knees look at that a little bit of let me see is that paint bleed or is that where paint's missing mess with that later otherwise the knees feel pretty solid definitely don't feel like they're gonna give in any way sideways there is that joint right here at the, the high part of the shin which I'd rather it not have but either way the ankles you do see they pivot pretty well doesn't point very well the foot oh it looks like it it just took a second to push a little further there we go not that you'd want it to go that far but you do have that ability so you can for easier posing boots look cool so those look nice all right it actually looks like like a sleeve on top of his boot and I like how this texture on his suit and then looks like we'd be able to put his shield if we put this part right here, this back. This is what the shield looks like. It's pretty clear to me that this is the top. Or should I say? <laughs> because um, obviously they're not fully even. From here, these would be aimed up. Here, there would be a cross, so on and so forth. So that's cool. Go ahead and pop that off. And then on the shield, you can have them holding this like that. Or we can do it this way and pop it on either wrist. So you have both options. Look at that. So let's go ahead and move a little higher up. And then here's the other head sculpt. Sorry. There we go. And it's pretty epic beard here. Look at that. It looks pretty good. It's 
Especially when you compare it to the previous um, Red Guardian. Let me see, I should have them right here. There we are. Which, now that I look at it, I'm wondering if this is in intentionally supposed to be a younger version. I don't know. I don't know if this is supposed to be him young, because the suit is slightly different, or if this was just made way earlier in production. So I'll let you be the judge. We'll compare. Here's this Red Guardian. To this one. You'll notice there are some slight differences. You know, in the paint colors and the epic beard. He definitely looks a lot younger here. Even though he's got some gray in his hair. Um, well, he definitely appears to be a lot younger. And again, I don't know if it's intentional or if it was early in, uh, earlier in the production. But here's the difference in the shields. It looks like the same shield with darker color. And here's the back of the suit. So it's essentially the same figure with slight differences. And then, of course, if you compare these two heads, that's a huge difference. Look at that. Even the tone is different for the skin tone. Look at that, because this one starts to wash out a little bit. But, wow, so cool. Okay, and then look at this. Look at this little micro action fig, which obviously I don't know exactly why this is in here. I am guessing that this is um, an action figure of him and that he holds or at some point, not necessarily holds, but, <laughs> but at some point is admiring or whatever. Look at that. So that's cool. <laughs> very, very, very cool. Okay. And then as far as accessories, it looks like these must be his hands that are right here. It's very cool. And definitely would be able to swap them out with hands out of the gloves. Okay, so let's take a look at our other action figure we have here, which is Melina. And she has what appears to be this grappling hook right here that has rope that we can put in her hand. Um, we have some additional hands here, which is awesome because it's a total of six hands. So these are fists. These are open like to hold Perhaps these um, batons right here, and these ones. Uh, I'm a little curious. What is the difference between those? Then let's take a look because they look very similar. Okay, I guess this one has like the trigger finger coming out. That's a difference. You can see right there that the index finger is coming, but not here. Here it's like all together. So that's the difference. Because uh, I guess we can definitely have those accessories from one action figure to another. Okay. All right. How did this pop out? Like, oh, there we go. Because that part goes in there. Okay. Let's get these out. And because it, they're super soft plastic, they were kind of bent in there. So you'll see that. All right. Let's take a look at her. Let's get closer. And there's definitely a strong resemblance to Rachel Weiss. So they did a pretty good job there. Careful with this ponytail, because even though it's soft plastic here, this still has the potential of popping off. Um, I'm assuming it would have good head articulation. Sorry, I'm putting it this way just to see. I don't pop off the, the ponytail. Yeah, extremely good head articulation. And if it wasn't for the ponytail, it would go really far back too. Okay. So let's see the arms, they go out to right before a 90 degree angle. Let's see, they click as they go around, it's about a mirror image on both arms. We have more than a 90 degree angle with a single joint right here at the elbow. And let's take a look at these hands, these are the ones that I said it appears to have a trigger finger on this one, or at least almost, the wrist goes 
rocks up and down this way instead of back and forth. And turns, of course. Uh, what the ab crunch we would have here is actually right here below the rib cage. And it turns there, there it does not turn at the waist, it turns there. And then this belt right here, it is intentionally not glued down also. But, um, I was gonna say, does this move? No, but this, oh, it does! This is a soft plastic gun, like super soft bendy, look. And usually these are just attached, okay. So there's a gun in the holster here. Handgun, and I would assume another one then. Oh, that's a good excitement right there. All right, so I wasn't anticipating that. So we can put these right here. I'm gonna go with that assumption. Now, let's see. I would like it to go further into, there we go. There we go. This trigger finger doesn't seem to be coming out as far as I would like it to, but nonetheless, that's really cool. Really, really cool. Um, they are bent a little bit. Okay, and so the leg does move with the high part of the thigh. Um, it comes not quite all the way forward. But we do have some decent hip articulation though. Look at that. Okay, we have double joints of the knees, so we have great articulation on the legs there. Look at that. So, that's super cool. We have great articulation there. And then as far as the boots, it does point and flex pretty well. Look at that. And then pivots. So that's awesome. So, I'm sure we can get some pretty amazing poses here. Yep, the hair is restricting it a little bit because of this right here. Now I'm gonna be honest, I'm not 100% sure what this is and depending on when you watch the movie, you may already know. I'm sure I'll find out tomorrow when I watch it, but I'm not sure what this is strapped to her. Um, I was like, couldn't remember if this Black Widow right here has it. Looks like she is strapped to perhaps that, but I'm um, not 100% sure what that is. Could be a lot of things and I could speculate, but I'd rather just find out when I watch the movie. <laughs> so obviously we'll know what that is already. So let's have her with the guns down. Have her standing up. And just have her with a really strong, cool pose. Straighten her feet out. And I wonder how these characters are gonna turn out. Who's gonna end up being good, who's gonna end up being evil, so to speak. And um, yeah, I'm pretty anxious and I've been waiting a long time, so I'm so excited to find out. So let's see. I'm having a little bit of difficulty getting her to stand up without support. So let's see, and then again, and the hair keeps hitting here. I'm like, does this come off? It didn't look like it. Looks like it's glued. Probably could come off, but I may not want it to. Alright. Very cool. So this is a great action figure. And just like we compared that, I like to compare her to this Black Widow, which appears to be wearing a very similar suit. So, just for comparison. We'll pop this one out. And it looks like a very similar suit, if not the same suit with different paint. Look at that. This one has this, this one doesn't. So, 
it definitely looks like it's perhaps even uh, the same mold that they popped a different head on. Maybe. Maybe. This might be the same mold with a different head popped on. And then of course, these added to this one. But uh, nonetheless, this one did have the guns over here. So yeah, they both have the guns too. So interestingly enough, that very well may be the case, except this. So I really like these two figures. They're super awesome. And I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun finding out exactly who they are according to um, the movie. So make sure you let me know what you think of these action figures right here. Let me see if I can get this straight. And I guess we would want the other hands holding these. But um, either way, this looks really cool. This looks really awesome, actually. Look at that. So. Wow, look at that. That's actually really awesome. <laughs> okay. And so, you know what? Let me pop off this head because I do want to see that one that's just without the mask. And so, let's give him his shield. Let's give them both a similar stance since they'll be fighting side by side, at least in this video. And we'll find out. The previews make her look a little bit suspicious, so we'll find out. Alright, let me see what I can do to get him to stand just a bit. And I don't want him necessarily tiptoeing. So. Perfect. Let's get him right over here. Let's turn that. And I think that looks pretty outstanding. Look at that. Okay guys, so we're gonna move on to our next action figure. These look awesome. Sorry, I'm just really admiring them. All right, and before I forget, I did wanna also compare all three of the Red Guardian action figures that, I, well, I guess four, technically, with the, the little guy, but, um. Like, wow, it actually looks pretty cool. Look at that. That way you can see the original one, well, the comic book one we have, then the first one we got, and then these two right here. So they look pretty awesome next to each other, admiring their own action figure. Okay, awesome. All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent G's Super Channel G, and so we are gonna get started with this Black Widow and you know what, I got this quite a while back, and if I'm not mistaken, this was a Walmart exclusive, and uh, it took us forever to find it because these dropped, and then months and months passed before we actually saw them in store, and then only saw them like twice, and then never saw them again. But this is a pretty cool action figure with lots of accessories, and yep, so this one's a standalone figure and came out definitely around the time that the other Black Widow action figures came out, Marvel Legends and was, uh, as of the date this video we're gonna drop, um, over a year ago. So the movie just came out about a week ago. It was an incredible movie, and to honor that, we're gonna go ahead and open this awesome action figure up. So, look at this beautiful artwork right here, and that's definitely what this action figure is based on. Look at that jacket, look at the suit, and then of course, check that out, blasting out right there. So we have, 
the same artwork on both sides. And then we have an action pose in the back. And let's see what it says. It says, Black Widow, extensive training in the Red Room, made Natasha Romanoff into a warrior with few peers. Very cool. All right, let's get this open. It does not come with a Build-A-Figure piece because this was a standalone Walmart exclusive. Okay, let's get this open. And let's take a look to see what she looks like. This beautiful artwork back here. The Black Widow symbol and the spider. Inside of it with another Black Widow. Uh, little hourglass looking symbol right there, which is the Black Widow symbol. And so, look at that. So we have multiple of these that we can switch out for the hand and put there on the wrist. It looks like we have a jetpack, which looks like it has a shield logo right there. And these to show it like firing off, I'm assuming right there, and then some hands we can switch out. So let's take her out. Let's get a good look. Okay, let's bring this a lot closer. Let's take a look at this head sculpt first of all. So there's uh, two tones on the hair, definitely give it um, a little more texture like that. Makes it pop out just a little bit better. Okay, let's see the hair. Uh, it's softer plastic, so you can kind of move it to the side, but it won't stay over there since it is molded pretty well. Um, looks like the face is pretty good. The plastic, as far as the hair right here on the side, doesn't line up perfectly. It definitely lines up better here on this side, but here on the left, it's kind of doesn't reach all the way. As far as mobility for the head, it does go definitely really far down. As far as back, not really, because of course it's restricted right here at the bottom of the hair. But um, it does have this joint where it can like pivot on top of the ball joint that moves. So you'll see that. So it kind of can move forward without just moving down. It'll pivot side to side. Look at that. This is definitely more than you normally see on Marvel Legends. And it can definitely turn pretty well to the sides. Wow! <laughs> because it does go back and forth, you can extend that part out pretty far. Okay, so as far as the arms, ooh look, as far as the arms, the shoulders move around nice and smooth. Let's see how far they go back. They go beyond 90 degree angle. Maybe not by much, but still they do. They go around nice and smooth. Look at this uh, A right here on the side of her jacket. Nothing over here. Jacket doesn't go all the way to the arm, but I'm sure that allows for a better mobility anyway. And so this part can probably come off, but then you'd still be left with these little brown sleeves. So I think I, um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about the jacket. We've seen this type of collar many, many times now, especially with like the trench coat with like, um, I'm trying to remember who had it. Was it Multiple Man? I'm like, hmm. Either way. Uh, we have seen this jacket because I think even um, uh, Nick Fury had a jacket like this, even if it was painted black. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, it had this style of this collar. But um, anyway, I think I would have much rather preferred her without a jacket. But either way, this one comes with a jacket, so take a look at that. The elbow does um, come into about a 90 degree angle, and the wrist turn will go back and forth. This part right here is not, not glued down, so you can switch them out like we were looking at a moment ago. This fist do turn. And let's see, it does not turn at the waist, but it turns right here below the rib cage and it actually does extend pretty far back. Look at that. And then pivots and turns. So that's where we would be moving her right there. Now, I do like the fact that it gives her a lot of mobility. The only thing I don't like is visually, it doesn't line up well with the abdomen, especially because you know, you can see the muscles of the ab and the belly button. So when you turn it like this to turn her body, I would have still preferred um, um, a joint at the waist so that it turns a little more naturally. But either way, uh, the upper part of her body does uh, ab crunch and turn pretty well. It doesn't come very far forward, but as far as like turning back and sideways, it moves pretty well. 
Let's see, as far as the legs, they do come out to essentially 90 degree angle. The legs uh, come about this far back. We have joints at the high part of the thigh. The legs go out that far. And as far as the knee joints, they're a lot stronger than they originally appeared. I thought they were gonna be really like soft and kind of gummy, but they're not. So, she can actually pose pretty well. Let's see. Wow, look at that. That's actually good, pretty good kneeling poses right there. So, um, she does not come with a gun, and I just realized that. However, let's take a look at, um, let's finish this. So, double joints of the knees has her pose pretty well. And then, right here on her feet, they do pivot and point and flex pretty well. Like, well, felt like they were pivoting, maybe. Maybe not. Let's see. It like moves, but then it goes back, so maybe not. Um, I don't, definitely don't want to just force it, so either way. So let's move her arm like that to pose her. That would be pretty cool. So that looks cool. Um, all right, let's take a look at this jetpack here. There we are. The shield logo. This is what it looks like all the way around. We even have right here where it's got the straps. This is soft, like vinyl type plastic. I like the way the color is kind of metallic ish. We can put this on here. And as far as putting this on, we might just need to put both arms backwards. So let's see if that'll cure this issue. And if not, we can always just pop one of the arms off. But I was hoping that we'd be able to just be able to get it on like that. Unless this comes out, no, it probably doesn't. It's like, okay, well, either the arm's gonna pop off, or we have them both arms go back like this. So, since so, there we go. As long as we get one-ish arms at a time. It should still work well. There we go. And, oof, so close. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it. Look at that. Took a little bit of coaxing, but we did end up getting it there in the end. Very nice. Okay. Not bad. Very cool. Okay. So, how does that look? Then let's get these little parts right here that are firing out. And of course we wouldn't have these firing out if she was kneeling. Oof, it's my fault. See, there's like a little lip right there. So I was trying to get it all the way into that part. And then I just didn't have a good handle on it, but that's kind of cool. So if we had her kind of like that would definitely look cool. So that's cool. Okay. And let's see if I take this off. Put that back in here. Let's see. 
what we can do right here with these little wrist blasters. So we can just pop this on right here. Put this fist right here. And that would look like that. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then the one that's... We have these ones that are like... Smoking. As if they just blasted. I don't know how I feel about those, but... I guess we could put it right here. Those are kind of a neat idea. I don't know if that's... The one that I would want on her. So I'm just gonna put that one back. And then let's see one of these hands. Now these are ones we've definitely seen quite a bit on our female characters. Can definitely swap this out. And that looks pretty good. Check that out. Very nice. What are your thoughts? That looks super cool right there. Okay, cool. Very nice. So guys, this was a super cool action figure. I'm glad I got it and this definitely completes my set for the um, Black Widow action figures that came out for the movie, especially, um, you know, obviously, mentioned this wasn't in the movie but um, to complement those sets there were several comic book action figures so um, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today if you have not already subscribed to our channel please subscribe below hit the notification bell next to it so you can be notified every time we have a new video come out talk to us in the comments below we'd love to hear from you let us know where you're watching from and yeah thank you for hanging out with us here today and then again these figures are absolutely incredible and there's more than just this I was like, I didn't put everybody back in their, in their boxes yet. <laughs> but um, if you haven't checked those out yet, go back to our YouTube channel and check them out. So thank you guys for hanging out with us here today. We'll see you soon on Vincent GG's Super Channel G. Peace.